what up, what up? What's going on, YouTube? Um, so today I got a small little video. Um, don't mind me how I'm talking right now because I just got these uh, Invisaligners put in. I don't know. Like, it's weird. It's like they're like dentures or something. But um, so I just got these Invisaligners put in. Straighten out your bin noise teeth. And uh, so if you hear me talking a little bit of weird or a little weird and uh, doesn't come out right, you know what I'm trying to say or figure it out. But anyways, <laughs> without further ado, uh, I got a couple of parts for the DSM, which is way over there. The boy's trying to be in the shade right now. But I got a bunch of parts for the DSM. Um, just a couple things from uh, Boosted Fabrication. So uh, it's basically for, let me show you. car is filthy I haven't washed it since the last video it's basically for to try to get this bumper to sit straight look at the spacing right here look at the spacing right here look at that gap it's supposed to clamp from behind not to kind of like the front of the radiator frame but um let me go grab the parts I already boxed them and uh, we'll jump into this and I gotta pull this bumper off a little bit but all right. all right so this is what we got here the boosted fabrication bumper supports uh it's basically gonna help hold our bumper up since um a lot of us either don't have crash bars or um you know they're supposed to be a uh small i already uh took off the bumper as well or lowered it there's also supposed to be a small metal support bar back here that kind of supports the uh, bumper as well, but I don't have that on there. So basically you take, uh... well, let me start for you. So I bought these two, these two bumper supports from Boosted Fabrication. Um, they were like uh, 110 bucks if you wanted it like powder coated or whatever, which I obviously did. And then I opted for this front top support since I don't have it on my car, which will go like so. But I gotta clean the car because that's, that's disgusting. Listen to my lisp. It sounds crazy. Um, and it comes with boosted fabrication sticker. Pretty dope. But basically, there's two holes on here. So this is the opposite side. So I'll fuck. Basically, you can't really see in there. I don't think you can. But there's two holes in there that uh. They provide the hardware with which is right here these bolts you'll uh basically just put them on through there and uh it should push the bumper up enough to kind of hold right under the headlight but uh let's jump into it and uh see how it goes let's do a little thumbnail Damn, baby, looking good. All right, all right, guys, bumpers off. The brackets are on. Uh, my hat is off. I was sweating, sitting on the ground. Nah, but bumpers off. Uh, I put them in right here. It's secured. Other one secured. Um, basically, there's two holes. I don't know if you guys can see back there. I'm gonna show you anyways. Let's see if you can see under. There's a. Uh, it. There's one that goes right there. There's one that goes over there. But basically, it's on. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's put the bumper back on and let's see how it looks. Bumper's on. Um, fitment's not as good as I would like it to be. Honestly, I don't think it got any better, to tell you the truth. Um... Basically, this got a little bit better, but I have to trim the bumper more. Look at that. So it's nothing against the product, but I have to... Nothing against the product, but I have to trim the bumper more right there. I don't know. Try to massage this... Uh, Got to try to massage this uh, 20 bumper, 20-year-old 20 bumper, whatever how old the fuck it was. 
I'm gonna try to massage it more and see if I could uh, make it fit better when I get it on a lift and um, maybe mess around with these headlights more to try to even those out. But I guess it looks a little bit better. I don't know. It's fucking dirty as shit right now. So I'm basically gonna go wash it and uh, yeah. That will be the day for today. And then uh, probably gonna have this piece uh, polished. I put it on top of here. It's for the the bumper basically, give it more support so those bolts aren't just pulling on the bumper itself. It's actually got a metal support with it. Um, but yeah, shout out to Boosted Fab. It's not that bad. I guess it looks a little bit better. It's holding up a little bit better. I just got to kind of mess with this uh, bumper and uh, see if I can get it to fix better or fit better. Um, I guess you got to take into hand that the bumper's old as shit. Still got that line, that gap. The bumper's old as hell. The car's old as hell, you know? And, um... It's been a little dinged up in the in the front, but I mean, what can you do? All right guys, so that's it for today's video. These things are so weird. I sound so weird and it's hard to talk with them. But that's it for today's video. Uh, if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up so we can continue to make more videos. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Let's, uh, you know, keep putting up more content, uh, get more parts for this car and kind of getting it squared away. And, um, you know, just like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.